You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's Should've DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, I got into a little incident a couple of days ago. I don't like, no, 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 don't set it incident. up like that. You ain't getting to no little incident. You got sexually assaulted on Monday. Tell them okay. what happened. I got sexually assaulted on Monday. Uh, me and my wife was in the elevator, and this uh, older white man came in the elevator with three younger, three younger ladies. Mm-hmm. And he was like, hey, I was like, what floor? He said, 22. So I pushed 22. You think he was trying to recruit you? No, he wasn't trying to recruit me. So I pushed 22, and then he smacked me in my ass. Pow. Good job. All but, right. Now, Gia, your wife was with you. Gia, can you come here for a second? I just wanted to ask you. Now, Gia, do you think it's weird that a man uh, smacked, doesn't know your husband on the butt in front of you? I mean, it was definitely weird. Okay. Do you think that that was a proper reaction? Should he have felt like, I mean, Sarah, please don't touch me? Real talk. He told me he liked it. Now, Gia, he was like, that, he was like, Gia, that was all right. No, <laughs> Gia, did y'all have sex when y'all got back to the hotel room? He was like, that was all right. And then later, <laughs> later on that night. <laughs> Can Gia hear me? <laughs> did y'all have sex? Like, did y'all, did you have sex with your wife when you got back to the room? I did have sex with my wife when so I got back So basically, that white man gave you foreplay and turned you on. That white man did not give me foreplay. No, he that did white not man turn turned on. you on, bro. He did not. White yes, man did, did not turn me on. I am not into older white men, okay? I can't tell you. Let an older white man just slap you on the ass. Let me tell you something. Planet of the Apes is coming out Friday. What does that mean? I don't know. But it's a correlation <laughs> between black people and monkeys and white what? supremacy. And you cannot be having white men just slapping you on your ass just because they want to. All right. Now, behind the scenes, Gia did tell me that later on that night in the bedroom, MV did say, can you do with that man in the elevator? I did not say that. Y'all lying. Let's go to the phone hey, lines. You, man, you know what, man? Sometimes you really put the queen in queens. Shut up. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Yo, what's good? It's Josh, man. Good morning, y'all. Josh was popping Were out. Were you on the elevator with MV? No, he was not. Shut up. No, nah, now, now, yeah. <laughs> what do, what yeah, do you do? Yeah. You get in the elevator, right, bro? And the older white man, he must have been, let's say, 50 years old, 55 years old. Slaps you on the ass and says, good job. Right. I think you were supposed to say something and be like, you ain't got to fight the man, but you just let it slide like it was cool. Word up, he man. was drunk. Like, do you, do you like, was drinking. Yo, man. Do you, listen, do you know back in the day, slave masters used to have sex with black men? They call it breaking the buck. Yeah, Nobody's yeah, breaking my buck now. He broke the beige buck. That's what he was <laughs> trying to do. Nobody's. If you ever been around, if you ever been been around white drunk people, they they do that. They get fairly smack you in the ass, hug you. That's what white. I mean, imagine a question do. on a scale of I've one to EJ heard. Johnson. How do you? How gay do you feel? <laughs> you know, right now. <laughs> Leave EJ Johnson out of this. Let's go to the next line. Hello, who's this? This is Shady. Hey, what's up, bro? What's going on, man? You get in the elevator. A white man. Put, ask you to push the button. You push the button. He's kind of tipsy. He slaps you on the ass You're and says, really "Good job." Adding more things on. It's the, the truth. <laughs> yeah. Now all of a sudden, the white man drunk. You the one that sound drunk. What yeah, do you man, do? white man, white man slapped me on the ass, man. I'm gonna have to whoop his ass, man. I can't. Uh-huh. I, I, I ain't, ain't playing no games, man, like that on the elevator, especially if I'm with my wife. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't know if I'm gonna whip his ass, but I'm gonna definitely curse him out and I'm gonna call the police and tell him I got sexually assaulted. You're not going nowhere. Citizens arrest, nigga. You ain't gonna just sexually assault me and think you are gonna get away with it. My okay. Goodness. 800-585-1051. I got into a little incident on Monday. Ain't now, no little what incident. Charlamagne, oh. what would you have said if that was you? Well, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, <laughs> 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 all right, I'm just I'm just being loud this morning. It sounded like you y'all, guessed. Y'all, y'all, don't, y'all don't remember that morning when I came in here and I told y'all that somebody in this building slapped me on my ass? Right. Was it in the bathroom or something? I was just walking down the hall for no oh. goddamn reason. I wasn't yeah, pushing so no buttons on no too. elevator. And he was like, what's up, man? And he smacked me on the ass. And I what just, did you do? I just kind of froze. I was I was in a little state of shock. <laughs> See, I really didn't I didn't know how to reply. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I didn't I didn't know how to respond. Okay, so you kind of did the same thing Envy did. This was a couple years ago, and I'm. I'm it doesn't tell you matter something. when it was. It wasn't a couple yeah. years ago. It was a couple months ago. I remember you telling the story. I might step to him today. Matter of fact, man, I saw him. <laughs> I've been avoiding him ever since that. I might step to him today and just be like, hey, I appreciate you slapping me on the ass a couple of years ago, man. We need you to come with that same energy. <laughs> 800-585-1051. One. Was he a white man? <laughs> it was definitely a white man. See, white men out here slapping us on the ass. I work with some bitches. <laughs> What do you do? Call us up now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Hello, who's this? Yo, man, it's Dutch 904 Beats, man, out of Duval County. Duval! No. Exactly, exactly. Hey, 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 man, you can't be letting no uh, white man touch on you, DJ Envy. You the khaki color killer, bro. You're supposed to 
You yeah, I don't know that he should have killed him. Yeah, yeah you should kill him now. He should have cursed him out or something. Man, no, 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 no. He was sitting there plotting on your light skin, but at the elevator, he said, man, I can't wait. Oh, he pressed the button. Let me get that. <laughs> All right. All but right. he did it in front of three young ladies and your wife. And yeah. your wife. Oh, oh, oh man. Time. Hey, hey, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Gia, you ain't got your homie back like that. You were supposed to. You were supposed to say, hey, man, let me touch it on my property like that. That yeah, is true. Fight different. the white guy. But what if the old white man would have hey. said, what if the old white man would have said, your property? <laughs> All these <laughs> niggas still belong to us. <laughs> Hello? Who's this? This butler got swag. Butler got you say swag. your butt got okay. swag. <laughs> His butt got swag. Now, butt yeah, got right. swag. What you going to do if you in the elevator and the white man slap you on your ass? I'm going to do what you're supposed to do. If What's anybody that? touch your ass, whoop his ass. Hey, okay, but, now but I don't know that he should have did that. You can't be just beating nah. people up. I mean, the truth of the matter is that is sexual assault. I believe yeah. in equality. So if a man grabs your ass and it's not warranted, you either call the police or you got the right to go upside his head. Hey, but look, this is what I wanted to say. DJ Envy, I kind of think you kind of like want to flip sides because this ain't the first time somebody done smacked your ass. It's not the first time. This is actually the second time. time. Well, this, this is actually the second time. time. Refresh my memory, you sir. Always, what happened? You always, you, was, you said you was in the club I and you was playing good Boston. music and somebody, somebody came up to you and tapped your ass and told you good job and you said the same thing you just said. God you didn't know what to damn. do. Envy, you I turn, didn't know. At Envy, some point, Envy, you got to know what to do. Envy, you turn it into a whole hole out here. <laughs> <laughs> you claim to be a killer, but I smacked your butt. Hello, who's this? It's Imani. How are you? Imani, what's up, mama? Hi. Um, first of all, do you let a grown man touch your behind? A whole grown man. Uh-uh, you can't let no grown man touch your behind. And you, like, you cannot do that. You didn't break his fingers or nothing, and your wife was there? What did she say? She was like, I uh, mean... I mean, she, she said that either. he liked it. No, no I didn't the, like it. You turn it into a whole hole out here, bro. Like he everybody, was a little, no, he was a little first tipsy. Of all, come on. No, you cannot do that. Like I, I now I have to question you. But the, mm. your wife, oh my god! Like I feel you have to crack his hand or something. You have to do something. It was something. an older white man. He was a little tipsy. What why am I doing? Why does it matter what the color of his skin was? And why and, does it matter if he was a, drunk? I'm just saying and, what he was. And you keep saying he an older white man. Like the white privilege entitles him just to grab your ass when he no, wants to. No, I'm just saying he was an older guy. I'm just saying, baby. The problem here now is that I feel like when people see you out now, every man is going to feel like it's okay to smack you on the butt that's because not, you still don't know how to react. So mm-hmm. That's not okay. Well, I just want to tell you, Envy, that uh, Sexual Assault uh, Victim and Prevention Resources has a website. They got a 24-hour <laughs> crisis hotline, 714-957-2737. You can find them on Facebook as well as Twitter, okay? I'm- I'm going to tell them, don't touch my body, all they right? What's 20- the moral of the story? The moral of the story is you turn it into a whole hole out here. <laughs> all right? <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Damn it. 